Ramped up Russian attacks across Ukraine are creating more chaos, just as school kids look to begin a new academic year. Ted Lindner is here again with a closer look at the fighting and what's being done to protect students' fragile mental health. Russian forces amplifying attacks across Ukraine with a wide array of drones and missiles striking several regions Monday. Every day there are shellings, incomings. They don't let us live and work in peace. The escalating barrages targeting Ukraine's power grid infrastructure in the east, as well as slamming structures across the capital of Kyiv. The blasts sending residents running for cover. We hid in the bathroom where it was relatively safe. We hoped for the best. The destruction comes as many school kids are beginning their new academic year. Immersed in the dangers of the ongoing Russia invasion, classes were canceled Monday at this school because of the damage. The more than two-year-long war has taken a psychological toll on many kids and teens. On the western side of the country, removed from the fighting, students got to participate in a special camp sponsored by the First Lady of Ukraine. The event gave teens time to decompress and bond over shared experiences. Before heading back to classes in more war-torn regions, many are holding on to hope, even as they see the prospects of their futures dwindle. But as a vantage. Here I even started having some dreams again. I watched the planes flying along the border and dreamed of flying somewhere, maybe to rest. Meanwhile, continued Ukrainian combat in Russia's Kursk region has forced mass evacuations. Russian media reports schools in the area have been fitted with bomb shelters as students return to class. Unprecedented security measures have been taken. Ted Lindner, Fox News.